Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today I'm going to show you how to release a stuck key on the MacBook Pro. This is applicable to anyone who has a MacBook Pro from late 2016 all the way through 2017 and 2018. Now this flaw came about with the introduction of the brand new butterfly keyboard. This keyboard was much thinner and lighter and had a new mechanism implemented allowing you to depress the keys in a slightly different way. Now apparently there's been some advantages gained for Apple in terms of making their computers thinner and lighter. But the downside of this new mechanism is that if any food particles or dust becomes lodged inside the key then some keys can start to get stuck or jammed and it's going to severely affect your ability to type fluently. Now I've heard reports of people going into the Genius Bar being quoted extraordinary figures to fix this very simple problem. So my advice is to first have a go at repairing this yourself and to do so all you're going to need is a very simple thing a can of compressed air. This costs you around $10, maybe $15 at most. You can pick them up from your office supplier, from a computer store or photographic store, and you can also get them online from eBay and Amazon, and I'll leave a link to a few options for you in the comments box below. So armed with a can of compressed air, you can go ahead and take care of the stuck key problem all by yourself. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do so. The first step before you use the compressed air is to tap on the key a number of times to try and crush that lodged particle and move it around a little bit. So repeatedly tapping on the keyboard on the stuck keys that are affected will help you do so. Once you've done this, you can then turn the computer upside down and again, give it a gentle tap all around the back to try and dislodge some of those particles. And then you're ready for the can of compressed air. Apple actually have a description of how to do this online. There's an article they've dedicated showing you the pattern in which you need to maneuver the compressed air over the keyboard. So I'm going to leave a link to that in the description box below if you want to have a look at it in more detail. But if you haven't got time for that, I'm going to show you how I go about doing it. So the first thing I do is to attach the nozzle on the front of the compressed air and then you're ready to go. You can go ahead and give it a good spray. Now you don't spray it in this position where the computer is sitting on your desktop. You actually need to pick it up and put it on an angle. And Apple are quite specific about that angle. They ask you to put it on approximately a 70 degree angle. So if you hold your MacBook Pro up almost vertically and just tilt it back till you get to around the 70 degree point and then spray from left to right over the affected area or over the entire keyboard. And then they ask you to rotate the computer to the right and again repeat that procedure spraying from left to right and then finally rotate your computer to the left hand side so that the screen is now to the left of you and once again spraying in a zigzag pattern from left to right. So after doing this you should have a problem free keyboard. If it hasn't worked the first time give it one or two more attempts and see if that does the job for you. If you still have no luck then obviously you're going to have no resort but to head over to your Apple store to see if they can take care of it for you. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this brief tutorial of assistance. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell next to subscribe. That way you'll be notified of new videos as they're released. Incidentally, if you're complaining about this particular problem, not happy that you've had to deal with it with a can of compressed air, which kind of feels a little bit archaic. I've heard that Apple are actually in the process or have already applied for a patent for a new technology that will take care of these particles being lodged inside the keys inherently within the keyboard. So hopefully they do roll out this feature in future iterations of the butterfly keyboard and we won't have to deal with this problem in future models of our MacBook Pros. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you on the next one. Bye for now.